Pandemic era SNAP benefits, the extra money that some people were using to purchase their groceries, they've come to an end and families are feeling the pressure. In the last three years, households eligible for food assistance received at least $95 more per month. The extra SNAP benefits have kept 4.2 million people out of poverty. The timing could not be worse. So this news of cuts comes amid rising food prices and the end of other pandemic era measures. With inflation keeping food prices high, food banks, they are bracing for impact. The federal public health emergency over COVID is coming to an end. And with it, residents in every state have lost the additional SNAP benefits they've been getting for nearly three years. In Kentucky, lawmakers already cut these benefits last spring, reducing federal food assistance to the state by $50 million per month. It's an early window into what the rest of the country's 41 million SNAP recipients will now experience. I got here at 6.09 a.m. We got here at 5 o'clock this morning. I got here at 6 a.m. There was already about a dozen people in line. We got here around 6.30 this morning. This place is a time away from I've been up here so long that I need some time to pass. I'll be 80 in November. I get fresh vegetables and fruits that I couldn't afford if I didn't get them because they're expensive. Everything they give you is, you know, it's good because it's something you need. It's very helpful to me, very helpful. We was getting $285, now we're getting $58 on the SNAP benefits. It's made it a lot tighter, a lot harder to try to get from one month to the next month to getting stuff. Besides having to get medicine and everything else, you have to watch what, that, what you do and how you get it. You was able to get some meat and stuff before, but now it's, if you get meat, you have to not get milk or bread and wait one month to the next to get, you know, you have to flip back and forth. If we don't get here early, then we're way back, and a lot of times they'll run out of some of the supplies that they have. So I always try to get here early enough so we can get some of the earlier supplies. This food drive has helped us make ends meet at, at my house where we're having a lot of difficulties because of my mom's health issues. They've been there for us for the holidays and stuff. It's helped out a lot. Here, if you want to just set it down over here, we'll just fill it up. If you need to make two trips, it's fine. The Hazel Green Food Project is a pantry not like any other pantry in Eastern Kentucky. We serve everybody. We have a theory that says, you know, Jesus never looked in your fridge before he fed you, he just fed you. So we don't turn nobody away. Today we are here to do a food distribution and today we will serve about 16 counties at least. So right after they made the switch where they cut those extra benefits, our next food giveaway line had doubled in size because people just didn't have, have anything then. It seems like every food giveaway the amount of people, it just grows. When we have people who drive two hours just to come to our food pantry just so they can have groceries. The line will go over a mile long. Sometimes we will even have to start our food giveaway early when it starts interfering with the parkway. We will run out of food, I'm sure of it. Sometimes we barely have enough. <laughs> Sometimes we, we have to turn at least 50 cars away. We don't leave until everything is gone. And when you're thinking about those families that you turned away at nighttime, and you're wondering whether or not they have food, and no matter how hard you work, it's not enough. And so the next week you try harder and try to get more stuff in, but it, you run out again. And so it's like a never ending thing. Eight hours after the first cars arrived, the food distribution begins. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? For the next three to four hours, volunteers for the Hazel Green Food Project work to give away everything from venison steaks to heads of cabbage, as well as fried pork, bags of potatoes, and carrots. They even get a few treats like cookies and potato chips. It's got to be cleaned. Please! Nasty. Get 
Katrina Peters. I live in Maytown. I got four boys raising my 15-year-old sister. <laughs> uh, we go to the 205, I guess it's Hazel Green. The food thing, it's twice a month, so we go, that helps out on food a lot. When we go to the food pantry, like this morning, I left at 9.30 and got there by 9.45 and set till 2.30, but we got plenty of food at the end, so it was worth the wait. We got bags of taters, bags of carrots, onions, apples. I got the potatoes so I can make fried taters tonight. Food stamps go very fast, especially when you got four kids and six people in the house, so. It makes it rough. It means a lot. We're able to have more meals. We sit in such long lines, but I mean, it's worth it at the end. It's just a blessing to have the food pantry. Hi, you got your paperwork? Just put that right like that in your windshield. People say that Eastern Kentucky is like quicksand. It was in trouble two years ago and it'll be in trouble two years from now and it's trouble now. But if somebody doesn't step up and try to help these people, then nobody's going to. 